Today we're at Dollar General. I haven't been here for a while, so I'm so excited to show you the new items that they have out for summer. And I also have several new hacks to share with you as well, so let's go. Walking into my store, this is the table they have out with all the really cool home decor. Let me show you some of my favorites. Check out this clock. It's $28. This is huge. I'm also over here tripping over these blanket ladders for just $28. These jars are so pretty. I love the tent on them and they're priced at $12. Look how big those are. The summer section is over here. Now this line is very similar to the shore living section at Dollar Tree. There's a few really cute items that stood out to me. This bubble planter is only $3, gorgeous. You could paint it to be any color you want. There's a new DIY trend of putting a smaller vase into a glass vase. So I'm gonna show you how to put that trend together using this bubble vase and then this vase I found earlier. I'll put the smaller vase into my larger one. And then from here, you can add in whatever stems you like. These are from Dollar Tree. When I put them in, they're a little bit long. So I'm just going to fold the bottom and put that into the vase. I promised you the new summer items and there are so many good ones over here, you guys. Starting with these vases, look how gorgeous this is, $5. I also love this one for $3. These blackwood beads are for sure Pottery Barn dupe. Last time I was shopping at Pottery Barn, I found similar beads to this. They're only $5 here at Dollar General. These are so pretty. I absolutely love these glasses. They're $6. Look at this cute little basket for $6. These are cool marble ceramic trivets. I love it. I want to do a DIY with it, but I'm trying to figure out a base to go on the bottom with it. So I'm walking around trying to find something. I'm not finding anything. So my only idea is I'm going to try to make a base out of clay. But if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I usually mess up the clay project. So let's try to DIY it with the clay. I'm not guaranteeing that it's going to turn out. <laughs> I first needed to create a base for my sculpture piece. I'm gonna use some air dry clay that I already had. I'll link it for you down in the description box, but I started to take it and fold it over top of each other. I was folding the clay to create a cube. Once I had a rough cube, then I took my sculpture and pressed it down in the middle. I really wanted to form that curvature that you see in my trivet. Then I came in, I added some water to the edges and I just smoothed down the edges so that I didn't have any lines or any fold marks. Once I was happy with it, I let it dry overnight. I came back the next day and I painted it a dark gray color with a sample paint that I had. Let that completely dry. Then I added E6000 where I was planning on connecting the trivet. I also added in some hot glue and put my trivet on top. Let that completely dry. Then you have a sculptural piece that you could display in your home. If you need a new lamp for your bedside table or maybe a desk, Dollar General has them priced between around $14 to $25. This one looks very much like Pottery Barn. I also love these smaller ones and they always look really modern. This black one is really pretty at $18. Dollar General has throw blankets priced at $12 to $15, so super affordable. I have a fun hack I wanna show you with throw blankets. If you love the look of a knot pillow, but don't want to spend any money, I'm going to show you a free way you can make a knot pillow with one of your throw blankets. Lay your blanket out on a flat surface and fold it in half. You're going to start on one end and begin rolling your blanket up until you create a really long roll. Then take both of the ends and put them together. Now you're going to form a loose knot. So take one of the sides, flip it in and pull it so it's not completely tight, but so it creates a knot. The key here is you want both of your ends to be about the same length. Now take one of your sides, 
pull it up and place it through the top of your knot. You wanna make sure all the ends and pieces are tucked in. Then take your other side and pull it and tuck it into the back. And you should have a knot blanket pillow. Make sure you paint that subscribe button. If you're watching me on your phone, the subscribe button is right next to my channel name. Click the red subscribe button so it goes from red to gray. You can also click the notification bell so you can see more videos like my Dollar Tree DIYs, home hacks, and room makeovers. I just spotted this new dustpan system here at Dollar General. I've seen this and I've been wanting to try it. So it's a broom and dustpan and one. I'll show you how you use it. I found a similar dustpan and broom set like this on Amazon for $23. I picked this one up at Dollar General for $8. Now the way this works is you have your dustpan with the combs on it. You also have your broom. As you're sweeping your dirt into your dustpan, you can take your broom and move it up on the combs and that'll clean out your broom. I found this set of wood links for $6. Keep your eye out for trays like this. So pretty, I love the cutout. One of the things you can do with it is remove the handle on this side and then you have a wall art piece and just hang it up like this. These are really cool landscape prints. $15, you can get the dark wood. Look at this one too. This is so nice for $15. The size is 26 by 20. I can't pass up this picture frame. I have a hack I wanna show you. We all have outlets that we have to use in our kitchen, but they don't look the best. And sometimes what I like to do is cover them up, but you need to make sure you can get to them really easily. With the picture I bought from Dollar General, I'm just going to simply cover up my outlet and put some decor pieces in front. That way, if I need to get to the plug-in, I can just easily pull the frame over. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is home hacks. How pretty are these candles? I find with most Dollar General items, they usually have them in three different sizes. These acrylic containers are a great price. They go from a dollar to $5. If you're gonna be organizing your pantry or maybe your fridge, these are great to have. I need this bowl. Look how pretty this is. It screams summer, $6. How gorgeous are these pitchers? The dinner plates here at Dollar General are some of my favorites. They're usually priced between a dollar and three dollars. I'm gonna get this one for a DIY, but I wanted to show you some other ones. Like this one is really pretty. I also love the design on this one. Oh, these are so cool. I love these. These are five dollars. I think I'm gonna get this one and do a DIY. I'm gonna use the wood piece as the base for a tray. So I placed the wood piece down so that three of the legs were sitting on the table. Then I'm gonna use some E6000 around the top edges where it's going to be touching the plate. Then I'll place my plate down in the middle. Whenever you use E6000, make sure you let it dry overnight so it has a really nice bond. I'll clean off the top of my tray and add some of my favorite muffins. If you're wanting to see more DIY videos, I have a second channel called Liz Fenwick Daily. On this channel, I post DIYs, hacks, all of your favorites. So go check me out on Liz Fenwick Daily and make sure you subscribe. Dollar General has a bunch of rug options, but a lot of times they're a little bit smaller. I have a hack I wanna share with you to get these smaller rugs to look so much bigger. Now, I really like the way this rug looks. It's $15, but it's not long enough to be a runner. So I'm gonna pick up two of them and show you my hack. So I wanted a runner for my hallway. And as you can see, I put one of the rugs down and it's just too small. So a hack you can do is to buy two rugs. I bought the exact same rug. I'm gonna flip them over to the back, add duct tape on the seam, and it's gonna create a long runner and it only cost me $30. So you can kind of see the tape in here. So what I'm gonna do is just pull up this side and then place it back down a little bit closer to the other rug. Mm -hmm. 
loving these pretty glass containers for only $6. How beautiful would that be in your kitchen? They also come in a blue color. Cute planters already done for you for $6. I'm also really drawn to this seashell for $5. I have a DIY in mind. With my seashell, I sprayed the entire piece with a white matte spray paint. I also added in this stone finish to give it texture. I didn't let it dry, I just immediately added the stone texture. Then I let that sit for a few hours and completely dry. I had a succulent plant that I had bought at Hobby Lobby that I wanted to use on the interior of my seashell. So I started by cutting off pieces to that succulent. I hot glued those into the opening of my seashell. Then to kind of finish it off, I wanted to add in some moss. I started with more of a green moss, but I felt like a Spanish moss would look a little bit better. So I hot glued that in place. And here's how it looks in my home. If you're looking for larger planters, they have these. Now they're plastic, but look how big these are. Only $16. Of all the dollar stores I shop at, Dollar General has the best baskets. Let me show you some of the new ones you're gonna wanna pick up. This two tier tray is $24. This would be perfect on your kitchen island. You could put your fruit in here. Wow, these are gorgeous. They come in a bunch of different colors, but how modern and pretty is this? It's kind of a tin. It comes in three different sizes. These wire baskets are great for inexpensive plant stands, but what you wanna do is just take it and flip it this way. I'm gonna set it here next to my chair. This is a planter I made from a Dollar Tree planter, and the plant inside is from Ikea. If you don't like to spend a lot of money on throw pillows, you can find them here at Dollar General. These are $10. I think they're pretty. I'm gonna get two of them and style them on my couch. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite hack was. I love knowing your opinion and make sure you subscribe because I wanna see you back here and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.